I like to take a seed balls as um, instead of putting your seeds in the ground, like how you grow things, you put your ground on the seeds. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And then you use you put clay around it, and when it rains, the clay will get really, really wet, really, really wet all around the seeds, and then the seeds will do what's called germination. Have you heard of that before? It's basically when seeds turn from a seed into a baby plant is when they germinate. So, so it holds the water around them real good so it germinates, and then once it germinates, the seed has all it needs to start surviving and living and thriving. Does that, does that make sense? And then the other real big benefit of seed balls is that your birds won't eat your seeds. And the other thing that I like about seed balls is you can like plant, do a whole lot of them. Like if you just make a whole tray of them like this, you could just throw a whole bunch of them down in an area and leave and not come back for like weeks. And you can come back like a month later and chances are there's going to be tons of wildflowers just growing there. And so all you have to do is sort of make the seed ball and then throw it on the ground and then plants are going to grow. It's pretty cool. So we need to get uh, three, six handfuls if we can out of this. And if we can't, we're going to have to get more. So we'll just put it in there. So one, keep going. Two, three, four, five, and six. Very good. I'm going to put a tad bit more for good luck. Okay. We put in here, everybody. These are wildflower seeds. And these are going to be really good. They're all native plants. And these are going to be really good for uh, bees and butterflies and all of our great pollinating insects. And what's good about supporting bees and butterflies? Just one thing. Anybody know? Pollination. If you help insect populations, you also help birds. So you plant flowers that help insects, and in turn you're helping birds, and then you're helping the whole web of life, the whole ecosystem. That's exactly right. All right, so now we just, anybody want to just pick, take their hand and mix it around in here? Go for it, y'all. Go for it, y'all. Yeah, mix it up. Yeah, I just want to get All right, that's pretty good. And now what's the last thing you think we need to make our seed balls here? Water. That's right. So we take some water here. That's probably good about there. And then you stir, stir this up real good. You get it real evenly moist inside. This is looking good. This is a good amount of water here. Okay, and we are about to make our seed balls, everybody. We are seconds away from our hands getting even dirtier. How does that sound? Yay! <laughs> All right, now this is a good mix here. So the, the last step here is that you just take a little bit of this and you uh, roll it up in your hand like that. And that, my friends, is a seed ball. Just roll it up like Play-Doh. Play-Doh? Oh, there we go. There you go. You want to try? And you can take them home with you or you can put them down on the blue tray. Either way. Right here. I mean, like, if you want to take them. Oh, if you want to take them, put them underneath a little bit of mulch. No, I think. You all want to make some more? Yeah. We got more here for y'all. Does it matter what size? Big? Yeah, you probably want to make it three out. The more you can spread them out, then uh, the more likely you're going to have plants all over the place. But if you have like one really big one, then all the plants are just going to grow in one state. Hey, feel free to uh, make the rest of these. It's really great to meet all of y'all. Thank you. Oh, we're going to thank you. Thank you.